we've made it to the airport. Everything is on time. It feels too good to be true. And it is, because let's list all of the things that I have already realized I've forgotten. <laughs> Jewelry, hairbands, hair clips, an umbrella, because I've just checked the weather and it's changed and now it's gonna be peeing it down. Uh, are we up there? Yeah. My microphone to voice over my TikTok. I was gonna say about that. Yeah, that yeah. Wish you had said, babes, because it's on the chest of drawers at home. So whilst the flight is on time, and uh, everything seems to be running smoothly. Just know that as usual, I am still a mess. Oh my God, so they have a Shake Shack at the airport. I could smash a Shake Shack right now. Jeez, oh, I would love, I would love, I'm so hungry. I could murder a cheeseburger right now. Here we go, getting my caffeine fix. Oh. Why do they have to ruin kombucha with like the weird flavors? Gross. Water. Coffee secured. Mmm. Oh, the Starbucks vanilla syrup is just, it's obviously full of sugar, but it's made of different stuff. Oh, that is the order. So I was joking that it was going to be me in airport dab mode, but Ryan has really entered airport dab mode. Like, I'm actually quite surprised. You're normally very, like, chill, but he's like, come on. Needs to get to the gate. Sure yeah, honestly, I'm I'm shocked. Because let's never forget the first time. I, honestly, I don't know why I'm talking so much in the morning. This is not normal. It's because we're past airport Coffee security. <laughs> it's not even that. I've had a sip. We've passed airport security, so now I can, I can actually have a sense of humour. But um, let's not forget the first time we ever went away together, where we just left the airport without my <laughs> luggage. <laughs> I like to uh, excuse that as it was like peak honeymoon period and we were so excited that we just we left. So flustered to be we around. So, yeah, <laughs> it was like a whirlwind and we just <laughs> left my suitcase on the computer. <laughs> I've never done that before and I have never done it since and it still cracks me up to this day because how stupid can you like honestly sometimes people talk to me on the internet like i'm stupid <laughs> and sometimes i do things and i think yeah <laughs> i think i might be my excuse would be that i'm used to traveling just with hand luggage but i feel like that's not the case for you no but that was what didn't help because You're i just there. followed you Anyway, I'm delirious, so I need to go get on my plane, bye. He's in full airport dab mode, you see what I mean guys? Ladies and gentlemen, he's walking the conveyor belt. He never does this. I don't know what's going on right now. This is not normal. Here at flight, shortly to pass into Amsterdam. My name is Summer, I'm your kind of manager today. Working alongside myself, our destiny. Ooh, this bag is nice and light. This is Ryan's bag. We always, I always take the bigger suitcase. <laughs> So my bag is always skincare. the bigger one. Yep, it's all the skincare. And then Ryan's is always the smaller one. But you have not got a lot in here. There, there is plenty of space for me to do some shopping. This is so cute. What is... <laughs> Why is there not a section like this at Gatwick? We have arrived. Ryan is very creepily sitting in the corner <laughs> you can you can't really see you you can just see a weird creepy shadow <laughs> but yeah this is our room we're staying at the hoxton uh which i have stayed at before uh lots of you will know i like familiarity when i travel and i've only been to amsterdam once before and this is where i stayed um i actually don't know if i vlogged that i'm not sure it was just thought it was just short of before I had a slight breakdown, so memory is foggy. I love this room. It's really sweet. It's got like a low ceiling. It feels like a loft bedroom and it's got this canal view which is so cool. It's really gorgeous. Love a view. And then a giant bed. Which I'm very excited. I'm so tired, so this looks so appealing to me right now. We've got a nice little bathroom in here and I'm super impressed because they let us check in and it's like 20 past 11 and normally we're like waiting until what three four to check in yeah I thought I was gonna be stuck in 
these pants all day, but no, I am super happy. Everything has worked out for us today, has it not? Like, even Ryan was like, this is really, everything is working out for us. We even got to the train station and the train was leaving in one minute and we made it. So having a lot of luck and I'm not mad about it. I'm also not mad about this view, it's so cute. I am gonna get changed now out of my airport outfit, which I feel like I didn't get to show you earlier, but I'm just wearing my Uggs, uh, my Topshop, like knitted uh, flared trouser thingies. I don't really know what to call them, loungewear pants. And then like a lily silk uh, cashmere knit, which is just so lovely and so cozy and it's keeping me very, very warm. Oh, and then I was also wearing my hat and my black coat as well. I really like to wear the headband under the hat because when I take the hat off, I don't have like bad hat hair. It's been rained on, so I'm just kind of giving up on the hair i feel like the hat was a good idea even though i literally saw my dad yesterday and he was basically like my son no way hello and i was like cool there's nothing wrong with looking like a boy so i love the hat anyway it is saving my hair i am probably gonna fly home in this outfit so i'm just gonna change the trousers and i'm gonna put on some jeans i have these ones from new look i love these they fit really nicely like really they are perfect around the waist and the bum but then they have like enough bagginess here love and i'm gonna wear them with just my trainers uh these are my nike ones so i wear them with the uggs because of the slit you can like see my socks underneath and it's kind of a bit weird there's too much going on basically whereas my socks are the same colors as the trainers so it'll be fine so these are the jeans i love them they're just so comfy and they look really cute as well they just fit so well and we're going to be walking so i've changed into my trainers my arcs are really comfy for walking but it's a bit drizzly today so i don't really want to get them wet and then i'm just throwing on a zara coat and then i'm going to stick with this bag for today because i have quite a few cameras and stuff to carry around and the other one i brought with me is like more of an evening I'm taking like two things kind of back. That is my outfit for the afternoon. We're gonna go get some food. We have booked food for tonight and tomorrow lunch, but we haven't made a reservation for this afternoon. So we're just gonna kind of walk around and see what we can find. But yeah, I'm ready. So you can get ready now. Ryan's like, I think he is now never gonna get ready until I am ready now because I ready. ran half an hour over this morning. We're gonna go get some food and I'll bring you along with us. Um, I don't know what I'm in the mood for. This will be interesting. <laughs> Brian's giving me a tour of Amsterdam because he obviously comes a lot more than I do for work and he wants everyone to know that he has sat here for hours before drinking beer. <laughs> no, he didn't want everyone to know. He just told me, but I thought it was funny. I can picture that. Amsterdam Ryan is a different type of Ryan. Like that time you stayed up for like 72 hours straight because you had back-to-back -back shows in different countries. Yeah. Amsterdam Ryan, very different to Ibiza Ryan. Ibiza Ryan is so chill. To be fair, you're always chill, but. We were chilling as well. We weren't, like, we were just on no. the chairs. It's your. Bit of bowling, <laughs> it's just your ability to stay up if needed. I would be at my show asleep. Yeah, but I think I get, like, excited to do the show, so that, like, yeah. keeps me away. Yeah, keeps you hyped up. Yeah. I'm walking a little bit east of where the Hoxton Hotel is because on the maps it looks like there's a lot of food places for us in this direction. We've booked pancakes for tomorrow, so no pancakes today, she says. Never have too many pancakes. You can never have too many pancakes. Well, actually I can. I don't actually have them very often, but when I do. Look how they do pigs in blankets here. That pig is very snuggly in its blanket, wow. That is a nice blanket. Where are we off to? Uh, we're going to what I think might be, it's either a group of shops or it's a mall. If it's a mall, it's even better because there's nothing I love more than going to malls in other countries. We'll see, fingers crossed. Uh, so 
So this is so snazzy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you buy yourself that one and I'll buy you this one. Uh. <laughs> Look at how cute this street is at night. I am obsessed. Look at the little tree with the lights. It's so cute. And I don't know if you can see, but they've got all of these little lights that way as well. And it's just super cute. I love it. Um, and this is actually where we are about to go for dinner. This is the back of Soho House. Um, so we, we're on the back of the Hoxton and we kind of like face each other. And uh, yeah, basically just spying on where we're going for dinner. It looks really cozy. I'm looking forward to just having a very chill night. Oh my God, I just realized there's more lights down there as well. So romantic. Also, the buildings here, um, I'm sure everyone else has noticed long before I did, but the buildings here are so wonky. Like, look at, look at that. That's actually, that's crazy. It's so fun. So I have done an express change. I am ready for dinner. I'm wearing almost a full Holland Cooper outfit. So I'm wearing Oh, this is a bit bright, there we go. Um, so I'm wearing this body from Holland Cooper that has the gorgeous gold detailing on the shoulders and the sleeves. And then I've got this really cute little skirt on. It's knitted, it's really nice and thick, so I'm hoping it's gonna keep me warm. Tights, which are from Zara. I don't recommend, I just picked them up whilst I was ordering some other bits. And then the knee-high boots, which are also from Holland Cooper, and they are so comfortable. I'm really, really happy with them. I'm also taking my Dior saddlebag because I felt like it deserved an outing and it works really nicely with the evening outfits that I have planned on this trip. So we're going with that bag, but also not forgetting the giant coat because it's very chilly. So that is what I'm wearing. Let's go for dinner. It would be so gorgeous here when it snows so that everything would be really pretty. Good morning! It's very windy today, so I hope you can hear me. I didn't get a chance to show you my outfit because we were shooting some photos and then I had to do my TikToks and there's just too much going on and I'm starving and I just want my vegan croissant. And my headband looks weird. It's cool, love that. We're going to get some pastries this morning, which I'm really excited about because that's kind of like a novelty for us really. Like, it's not often you get vegan pastries, especially not in Brighton. And then we're going to see Anne Frank's house, like the museum-y situation. Amsterdam is looking gorgeous this morning. It stopped raining for us, which I'm really, really happy about um, because it was a bit drizzly earlier. And apparently the winds today are gonna be like 45 miles per hour. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting, but it's fine at the moment. Look at the little boat, so cute. I've done one of these uh, boat tours before, it was really cool. I would definitely recommend doing it if you come to Amsterdam. Like when I studied it at school, which was several times. Weirdly, not everyone else has done that. It always made me a little bit emotional, but actually being in there, I was like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. I feel like Josie would really enjoy this place. So I just went in this little shop here and I got the cutest scarf. I'm so happy with this. It is so nice. It's like woolly and it's got cute little tassels on the end. We're gonna go back to the hotel now and rest our feet for a bit because we have been walking for a long, long time. Like Mr. Stacks, the pancake place was so far. Um, wow, I really am like the most disheveled. I'm gonna go get ready for dinner. I'll be looking cute again in a bit, but it was definitely worth it if you love pancakes would recommend going but if you don't love walking very far i would definitely recommend uh biking ubering 
whatever your chosen mode of transport is, get that because it's a long walk. Say that, a long walk if you are saying uh, we're like quite central, I guess, like near-ish to the station. So it's quite far from that, like a good half an hour, 40 minute walk, depending on your leg length. Hi, we are back in the room and I thought I would just quickly show you my outfit before I get ready for dinner bashing into my suitcase. So I obviously have the new cutest scarf ever. I really wanted a scarf in this style and there were so many colors to choose from and that shop had like checked ones, they had black, they had nude. There were so many, but I went with the lilac because for some reason, well, actually I know why I gravitate towards lilac. Like there's, so my Nan's favorite color is lilac and I almost like let it guide me in life. Um, there's so many things like even down to like the inside of my house is obviously like lots of the rooms were like this lilac-y grey. So when I was searching for a house, I was like, oh, I feel like this is a sign. When I picked my phone case, I obviously picked the lilac one. I kind of just let it like lead me through life now. So I went with this one and the texture is just so lovely. Like there's all of these little like different colours kind of woven through it. It's just so gorgeous. And I just love the fact that the tassels are like, you know, it just kind of goes straight into the tassel. I just love that i think it's so cool and i've seen a couple back home but like i haven't seen any in like the variety of colors everyone here has them i just think they're so cool but yeah i'm wearing that my zara coat and then i've got these ooh, don't know if you can see i've got these holland cooper jeans on and they're just so so comfortable i've got my nike air maxes on and then a holland cooper knit as well which i feel like you will have seen uh in my last vlog, essentially. If it makes it to the light of day, because I still haven't started editing it yet. Oh, and I wore my Chanel 22 as well. So it looks like a bit of a jumble, but I kind of liked it. Getting ready for dinner, and I found some earrings. I'm so happy. Weirdly, they were in my like liquids pouch that I always use. So I've got these tiny little earrings. That I think are from Raimi in my ears so they're just like gold uh with a little pink stone in them very cute we're actually going for dinner at lottie's which is literally downstairs so um i'm very excited because the menu looks really good really good for vegan stuff as well that's the thing that we always kind of struggle with when we come away um so yeah we're being a bit lazy tonight but um i'm looking forward to it because i don't actually think even though i've stayed here before i don't think i've eaten down there so yeah interested to try but it's great because one we're exhausted and two don't need to worry about like coats it's currently peeing it down with rain i'm wearing my little dior saddlebag reformation dress i love this dress it's like a cashmere knitted dress with flared little sleeves and um, it's got a little collar up here as well i just it's so cute so easy such a nice winter dress and then i've just got zara tights on and my holland cooper boots i definitely don't feel like i'm gonna fit in in this outfit like everyone is so like scandy cool like i feel like my style is a bit too cute here and uh yeah i don't know but it's fine because i love this outfit and um it's like starting to become my fail safe evening dinner outfit <laughs> so i did not check in with you last night after dinner i have been so tired on this trip and when i'm tired i just i actually can't speak like it's been a real struggle but dinner was so lovely we had the i think it was like a red lentil dal and it came with rice and i had fries obviously because i can't remember the last time i ordered a meal that did not have fries uh unless there were no fries on the menu just love me some fries um and their chips were really really good actually i also had a side of mushrooms and then put that into the curry and that would be my top tip for doing that and you obviously like mushrooms if you don't like mushrooms don't do that but it was really yummy and i just had water and you know came back and slept because the palomas the night before just left me feeling so grim and dehydrated so yeah just kept it chill last night and my aim this morning was to get up bright and early and be ready so that we could maybe get some exploring in before we go to the airport because we've got kind of like a 
afternoon flight, which we don't normally do. We normally do like the last flight home, but after all of our trips last year, I was like, I'm not doing the last flight home anymore because it gets canceled and then you end up being really screwed over if you fly with EasyJet, which we were this time. I went back on my word after I said I'd never fly with them again, but there were actually no other airlines that were available to bring us out here, so um, on the days that we wanted, so you know. Here we are. The aim was to get up early. Where is my eyeliner pen? Hello? Oh, there you are. So small, I can never find it. So yeah, aim was to get up early and do some exploring, but I think Ryan is gonna go out and um, do some bits on his own and I am gonna just get ready and pack my stuff so that we're not in a rush because after last week, where I obviously just kept monumentally messing up because I was trying so hard to like, you know, get everything done and do all the things, we've just kind of realized like, it's just better if I give myself more time and don't rush myself. So I'm gonna chill here. Ryan's gonna go out and do some exploration and uh, yeah, then I'm gonna get coffee. I think like, I had a coffee at the Hoxton in London last week weirdly i never go to the hoxton in london but i happened to be there before the all saints show and uh their coffee is so good so i'm gonna see if it's as good here i'm not sure what i'm gonna wear today i might just wear the same thing flying home that i wore out here um one thing's for sure though i'll be wearing my new scarf i am um, so happy with it i just think it's the cutest thing ever i love the color it's like oh i just love it i just love it so definitely gonna be wearing that whatever i wear home i'm going to smoke some doobies <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> i'm leaving that in because <laughs> if i vlog you today you have the reddest eyes in the world actually no they're so much better Ryan has really dry <laughs> eyes at the moment, but it's... <laughs> Just looking at the camera and laughing even makes it look like I've been smoking loads of doobies. <laughs> <laughs> it's the word doobies for me. Oh, it makes me feel really... <laughs> it, it, remind, it, like, it just makes me feel icky. I don't know. You know when a word just gives you the ick? By bifters. I actually prefer bifters. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, but if anyone thinks that Ryan's eyes are particularly red, he's not been up to anything naughty. He's just... <laughs> naughty. Let's make some naughty bifters. <laughs> oh god. But you actually, he put it in the group chat last night and um, everyone thought he was high. But the funny thing about that is all my friends know that I don't, don't smoke. Partake. Yeah. So they were like, oh my god. <laughs> god, Susie's like made you wild. <laughs> no, Susie's been in bed every night at like 10 p.m. because she just gonna go and, is a grandma. I'm actually just gonna go and try and find some vegan cookies. <laughs> That's why we're here, we're here for the food. <laughs> Bring me back something. Love you, Beth. God, we're actually having like an okay left eye. Yes, I did have to just check that. Left eye mascara day today. It never happens, she says. It'll probably go really wonky now. I seem to have just lost all of the eyelashes on my left eye recently, and I'm really sad about it. Maybe my lashes have just reached the end of their cycle. I don't know. I need to powder. Do you know what? A makeup look just never looks finished anymore unless I use powder. This, I don't, have I talked about this? I can't remember, I, sorry if I have, but this powder, the Givenchy Prism Libra powder, this is the shade three, which is, I'm not gonna try and pronounce that. I'm just not. I'm just not, I make myself look stupid on a daily basis, I don't need to try any harder. I don't know how you're meant to get powder out, but that's how I like to do it. This stuff is stunning. Like, what I have learnt lately is that I like loose powders. Shocking, I know, you know, they've been around for years, there's a reason that lots of people like them. But um, yeah, I think loose powders are more my jam, maybe? Oh, just looks so flawless. I'm obsessed, and I put it over my cheeks as well, just a little bit, just like the excess that's on the brush, so nothing like crazy. 
So this is different to like the Huda Beauty Easy Bake, which I would use for like almost like highlighting and powdering. This is more like really beautiful, soft, everyday powdered skin. And it still like lets some luminosity through. I'll show you facing the mirror in a sec, because I feel like you get a better idea of what it looks like. And then the Givenchy Prism Libra bra blush. blush. This is stunning. I did want shade one. It sold out everywhere. If anyone has one, I will buy off you. I will pay double the price. Um, new, please, obviously. I like to tap it out. I try and take just the cooler tones, and then I sometimes use the warmer tones later on. But this is just stunning, and if you put it on over the powder, it just, I do a little bit and a little bit, and just keep blending. But it is just so stunning. And then after that, to like really diffuse it and blend out the edges. I take the, so you can see I've left a bit of pinky powder from the Prism Libra powder. And I take that and I run it over the edges to like diffuse the edges a little bit. And it's just stunning. It doesn't stop there. If I want an even more like intense blush, this is really gorgeous and like soft and everyday and just lovely. But what I've been doing, I did this last night. I think I did this yesterday morning as well. This is the Too Faced uh, blush. This is the Cloud Crush. God, they're just tongue twisting me at every point. This is the Blurring Blush in the shade Candy Clouds. And it's just like the most cool toned, bubblegummy pink blush shade. And then I like to pop a bit of that over the top. And it just is stunning, like absolutely stunning. And the best thing is, does anyone, if you're a 90s baby, you'll probably appreciate this but it smells like those little bears that we used to have. I don't know if outside of the UK we'll have had these, but we used to have these little bears and they had like this fuzzy, weird, short, fuzzy skin on the outside. Anyway, we had these bears and they used to have a little bottle and you'd like feed them and they'd like cry if they wanted food and stuff, but they all smelt different. This one smells like the vanilla bear and I love the vanilla bear. So yeah, I really appreciate that nostalgia powder and just take that over the edges of the blush and then we're going in with armani 104 and then i'm just going to finish up with some nars laguna bronzer on a vive blush and bronze brush but i don't like this one for blush i prefer the precision powder brush full blush and powder oh, i have to be so light-handed with this because this bronzer is pretty heavy duty but great when you need to actually bronze like a larger area really quickly like it's so good for doing like my chest and things like that and yes i did just do a face of makeup when i'm essentially just flying home can't forget to do tiny powder though just get a tiny brush and dab little areas. Okay, ready. Just need to pack my case. Okay, I realized that I need to put the tripod <laughs> in this suitcase. This is why I have to take such a massive suitcase half the time, by the way. I feel like my medium suitcase for a few days looks really excessive, but tripods are so big. The tripod basically like fills the length of my suitcase. That's my excuse anyway, but I need you off of here so that I can put the tripod in the suitcase. So I'm gonna quickly get dressed with you. Um, I have popped on my knitted uh, Topshop trousers. By the way, I looked back at the clips from last night and I realized I really like cut my legs off. So I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> Trying to show the outfit, but you're not even showing the outfit. Like, anyway, hopefully you can see me today. Fingers crossed. I'm actually gonna need to check this now. I don't trust myself. So yeah, Topshop knitted trousers, Uggs, the cashmere uh, lily silk top that I wore on the way out here. However, I'm gonna style things up a bit differently today because we're obviously like not really going out and about too much. We're just gonna walk to the train station, which isn't very far. And I've got my gloves and stuff. So I'm gonna wear my 
leather jacket and it's a little bit warmer back home as well so it just means like when we get home i won't be too hot because this roll neck i was like sweating when i got here in this outfit so because we obviously had to walk so much so i think this is a better option um and when i get home it will be a better option and also um if there's like a lot of stairs the long coats i just end up stepping on my coat like when we were trying to go through the anne frank house i was just stepping on my coat all the time because the staircases are so like there's so many staircases so i'm just gonna go with this one today it's also just a bit smaller so if i want to take it off on the plane um i just had to sit in my zara coat on the plane so um this will allow me to kind of like d layer and obviously i can't not wear my new scarf and then maybe my hat as well if not it would just go in my hand luggage nice and easy and i think it's meant to be quite drizzly today and if we are walking to the station the hat will definitely help i think that's going to be it also there are so many people here like i get really slated for wearing my ugg ultra minis with like any outfit physically possible everyone here does it everyone here and when i put it on like shorts or like tiktok People slate me for it. I don't understand because the girlies over here, I like, their fashion is good. So I'm, I'm inclined to trust you guys more than the people telling me my Uggs are ugly. Yeah, anyway, I think that's what I'm gonna wear. Also, I've just last minute thrown a pair of my trainers into Ryan's luggage. So we're gonna see if he notices. He had more space than me and my Zara coat took up a lot of space in here so I've li I'm like maxed out so we're gonna see if he notices that I've slipped a pair of trainers in hopefully not because he has the same trainers so it might just like register in his brain as his own item even though they are mini compared to his we'll see <laughs> I'm coming at you from way in the future uh, from my hotel room in London. Today's vlog is just about to go live and I realised that I had not ended it but the 24 hours following us getting home from Amsterdam were not too eventful. I basically raced home from the airport because I was so desperate to catch up on The Last of Us because I, I was trying not to see all the spoilers that week. Was it episode three or four? I yeah whilst we were in Amsterdam everyone was talking about it I was like no I can't see I'm blind I'm not seeing any of this it was really great I am loving The Last of Us it's available on Sky if you guys didn't know and the reason I love it so much is because I actually used to watch the PlayStation gameplay of it when I was younger and that was how I actually ended up getting into The Walking Dead because by the way I know my voice sounds really weird today it will be explained in the next vlog but yeah so I that's how I ended up getting into The Walking Dead because someone knew that I liked watching the gameplay and they were like, you know, I think you really like this show. So when Sky announced that they were doing The Last of Us, I was like, oh my god, this is the best. Like, I have just grown up. I can't play PlayStation games. Um, if you're wondering why I watch the gameplay, my hand-eye coordination is really terrible. I can't use both hands on a PlayStation controller. I can only use one hand. Um, so I couldn't play the game, but I loved watching it and I loved the storyline. Um, I love post-apocalyptic, like zombie anything. So yeah, I was super excited. I felt very nostalgic about the fact that they were doing The Last of Us. So I'm loving that, raced home to catch up on that. And then I had an early night because obviously we were just so tired throughout the whole trip. I am definitely fully in the 30s now. I have zero energy. Um, but yeah, I had an early night because I had meetings the next day, um, as you will have seen. I had a really lovely meeting at Brighton Beach House, which was very long and just very nice and very productive. So I had a great Friday afternoon and yeah, loved Amsterdam. Can't wait to go back because I feel like there's so much more that we still need to do. Loved all the food love my purple scarf um yeah i'm just i had the best week um so i hope you enjoyed coming along for this week's vlog and um i hope you enjoy getting the sneak peek of next week's vlog as well and uh, me and my croaky little voice are gonna go now i'll see you guys next sunday
Love you, bye.